their worship will not cause them to inherit the earth ours will the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrott thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure to subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us this message tonight will be a little different and just so you don't get offended realize I'm preaching to me okay and if you get something out of it good for you first Samuel chapter 30 and verse 6 we see David here you know who he is right yeah. and David was greatly distressed you ever been there I have an idea you weren't this distressed <laughs> David was greatly distressed for the people spake of stoning him ouch but David encouraged himself in the Lord his God David encouraged himself they were the opposite of being an encouragement they were picking rocks up and talking about them what I'm gonna do with this rock mm -hmm. David encouraged himself there are times when you will be going alone say going alone with the Lord your God but nobody else wants anything to do with it in fact they're opposed to where you're going mm -hmm. is this in your Bible mm -hmm. Esther chapter 4 and verse 14 Mordecai here talking to Esther if you hold your peace at this time then deliverance will arise from somewhere else and from someone else mm -hmm. but thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed and who knows whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this mm -hmm. who knows you must knows say I must knows, I must knows. who knows you must know who has come into the kingdom for such a time as this there are things that you must get a grip on you got to get a grip on it get a grip on it brother get a grip on it sister if you don't have a grip on it, it you lose it you've got to get a grip on this say I, I must get a grip on, get a grip on. not your wife not your daughter not your not your husband you I'm talking to you but I'm talking to myself too there's things I have to get a grip on say it there's things, there's things. I, have I have to get a grip on, get a grip on. you get a grip without you it doesn't happen for you remember he talked to Esther here he said unless you speak up it's not gonna happen for you your, you and your household will be destroyed but if you speak up there will there will be deliverance right yeah. you have to know listen you have to know and have a grip on it that I'm in the kingdom right now for such a time as this me say me, me. we're getting it say it doesn't happen, doesn't happen. Without, me. without me now that seems arrogant on the face on the surface seems arrogant seems presumptuous seems like an exaggerated view of your own self worth mm -hmm. but scriptural mm -hmm. others would say you think you're better than me that's their perception of it right mm -hmm. you think you're better than me another real good one is who do you think you are Have you ever heard that before who do you think you are 
are you ready for this I'm just gonna keep going at it who do you think you are seriously you have no idea Matthew chapter 5 verse 5 blessed say blessed blessed, blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth the meek shall inherit something what's that yeah. a pot of gold a plot of land your grandfather's clothes what do the meek inherit that's pretty big right the earth I, there's there's nothing more than that at least right now where you're at the meek shall inherit the earth who do you think you are I'm the one that inherits the earth say it I'm the one, I'm the one that, inherits that inherits the earth, the earth. oh how arrogant how presumptuous now we all know that Jesus really meant to say that you'd inherit it when you die and go to heaven well he seemed to leave that part out then did he stutter how does that even make sense you're you're not even here anymore you've gone died and gone to heaven he said the meek shall inherit the earth anytime you see things being put off until heaven or maybe till after the tribulation it is a lie of the devil cloaked in religious modalities I'll say that again religious modalities designed to put you under and to keep you listen from realizing the reality of who you are who are you say I'm, I'm the, inheritor the inheritor of the earth, of the earth now we look at this word the meek that means timid and shy and, and and withdrawing no it doesn't it means submissive actually Moses was called the meekest of all men that's why God could use him he submitted not to the devil's idea he submitted to God is this a verse of Scripture Matthew 5 5 what if you submitted to it you shall inherit the earth submit to that I'm not gonna submit to that then you're not meek as Holy Ghost worshipers we're going somewhere we're obtaining and receiving things that others have not obtained or received they couldn't go here they couldn't see it this is not anything that they've ever seen before or were willing to see are you here can you hear this mm -hmm. they are not in this room the room of Holy Ghost worship the room that's been set aside for people who do worship God the Holy Ghost they couldn't go here they couldn't see it and yes I'm talking about word of faith churches I'm talking about word and spirit churches I'm talking about whatever denomination or whatever non-denomination that you happen to be in involved in or the head of Are you ready for this mm -hmm. they don't worship God what do you mean they don't worship God ask them if they worship the Holy Ghost 99.9% .9 will say no we don't worship the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today that place you are to inherit they don't worship him the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today that place you are to inherit their worship won't cause them to inherit the earth I hope you can hear this their worship will not cause them to inherit the earth ours will 
can you hear this first mm -hmm. Corinthians chapter 12 and then verse 7 but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all or to profit with we are given a manifestation of the Spirit Lord that other people are not given and therefore we can profit with him in a way that they can't profit does that make sense yes. well in this room I go where no one else goes I worship you Holy Ghost is somewhere that other people don't go it's not even close what if nobody else goes there what if other people refuse to go there do you know them have you met any of them that refuse to go there then they can't go here they're not going where you go say if no one else, no one else goes, goes I, go. I go now if you are at all a student of history especially church history and all of the new manifestations of the Spirit of God are found outside the camp why is that because the camp doesn't want to go there mm -hmm. they refuse to go there we're happy where we're at Acts chapter 24 verse 14 this I confess after the way which they call heresy so worship I God the God of my fathers believing all things which are written in the law and in the prophets but he's worshiping God in a way that they would call heretical and often when you go outside the camp they say oh you're outside the camp you're a heretic but you see I've been at this a while I've put my time in submitting to my elders my leaders my mentors people that were over me for years say for years for years many great men of God that if I mentioned their names you'd know who they were I submitted there I learned there I grew up there I developed in those anointings and I operated in many of the gifts of the Spirit that was my trajectory I would become like them if I kept going right mm -hmm. and not only that I've put in my 10,000 plus hours speaking in other tongues praying in the spirit and in doing so I bought myself a highly developed prayer language in so much that I had somebody write to me the other day and said are you sure those are tongues I've never heard anyone speak in tongues like that before you've never heard anyone speak in a really well developed prayer language I'm going somewhere with this I'm no novice number one first Corinthians chapter 14 verse 18 I thank my God that I speak with tongues more than you all and I can say that without a doubt in most circles I thank my God I speak with tongues and have spoken in tongues more than you all and here it implies everybody combined in order for him to be able to say that he had to have put his time in mm -hmm. right yeah. yet verse 19 yet say yet yet. Yes. yet in the church I had rather speak five words with my understanding that by my voice I might teach others also than 10,000 words in an unknown tongue five words he would rather speak we know that he put all his time in praying in the spirit and then he got five words he'd rather speak in public well the time came in my life and ministry where I was presented with a choice you know what a choice is right you have this or you have that you go here or you go there and it's by our choices we choose to go in one direction or in another direction and the choice was given to me that I could either accept a word that was coming to me from God or I could have 
a reasonably successful normal ministry do you know what I chose I chose to take the word you understand I'm not mocking anybody else's ministry I'm saying that I had to make a choice I was either gonna accept this word given to me which would take me somewhere else in fact he said you would drop out of the race the, the race is the race to grow your church the race is to keep up with the Joneses the race is to develop your your ministry gifts and develop your anointings and the gifts of the Spirit and all these things that everybody so covets after drop out of the race and go to the head of the pack is what he said drop out of the race and go to the head of the pack of course when he said those things I really didn't know what he was talking about and I thought a reasonably successful normal ministry would be pretty good that's kind of where I was going you understand but I chose to take the word he said use these words I worship you Holy Ghost say I, I worship, worship you, you Holy Ghost yes. he said use these words five words I worship you Holy Ghost five words Paul said he'd rather have five words are you here maybe that doesn't excite you as much as it excites me well Proverbs 9 12 says if thou art wise thou shalt be wise for thyself what if nobody else goes I'm going I shall be wise for myself I chose these words I worship you Holy Ghost over regular mildly successful ministry remember when Jesus John 6 66 oh Jesus was preaching and the entire crowd stopped following him they turned around and said they stopped following him and they turned back the whole crowd we know he he preached to 5,000 10,000 at a time the whole crowd said that's enough we're out of here Jesus must have missed it obviously but no he turned around looked at his 12 disciples and said are you going to did he back off his message the thousand people left and he turned around and said are you going to Peter said you're the only one we know that has the words of life where else are we gonna go if they go with you they go with you glory be to God but you have to go here and I go if no one else does Deuteronomy chapter 8 we will look at this as an example Deuteronomy chapter 8 and what verse 18, 18. but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God and who would we be talking about now the Holy Ghost thou shalt remember the Lord thy God the Holy Ghost for it is he that gives your wife power to get wealth is that how you read your Bible no. it is he that gives thee say thee, thee. say thee means, me. thee means me it is the Lord your God that gives you power to get wealth this verse has nothing to do with anyone else not your family not your friends not your church group or your associations you God gives you power to get wealth are you getting this I am the arbiter of my success you are the arbiter of your success I establish the new for myself all things are mine without me nothing happens without me do you remember how we started this tried to bring you full circle without you nothing happens without you Zippo 
and then afterward let them all all the others be affected by your rising and your shining isaiah 60 verse 1 and they all will be but not if you don't go you want to please god then worship him worship the holy ghost i worship you holy ghost and then speak in agreement with his word that's how you please god so now in a way you have your cloth cut out for you you know what that means i figured it out you could probably figure it out. i mean if you're gonna if you're gonna sew something together you've got all the pieces cut out say i have, I have. all the pieces, all the pieces. Cut, out. cut out now you've got your work to sew it all together right mm -hmm. as a holy ghost worshiper you are in this room you have your cloth cut out for you and the meek shall inherit the earth and before this is over we end up owning it all thank you lord of spirits for blessing these people and that this message has been heard and received say i've heard it, heard it. i've received it since they've heard and received they've entered into a new space and a new place says the spirit lord and that place will begin to expand well beyond anything they could have thought of or thought of themselves doing before for they have changed they have entered the new day the true dispensation of the holy ghost worshiper is upon you rejoice and be glad in jesus name Amen. Amen. If you have a tithe or an offering, hold it in your hand. Say this after me Lord of Spirits, I worship you. You are God in the earth today. I walk with you by speaking your words. You give me power to get wealth, and I shall inherit the earth in jesus name amen